Hey Rocketeers, in this video we're going to learn how to tread water. When you're treading water out in the ocean or in the lake or in a pool, I just want to remind you that you should always have a lifeguard present or a coach or an instructor, someone who knows lifeguard and CPR training that can help rescue you. Whenever you're practicing anything in the water in general, I recommend that as well. But the reason I strongly suggest that on treading water is because treading water is not efficient. It's exhausting and it can be dangerous if you're not a good swimmer. Just remember the buddy system, okay? There are two components to treading water, your arms and your legs. The arms are sculling water or redirecting it downwards. Think of it as like frosting a cake with your hands or directing a choir. You're gonna press the water side of your hands and then redirect it back to the middle. Press it to the side, redirect it back to the middle over and over again. If you do it long enough, you might even be able to form a whirlpool over your forearm like this. Now the most common mistake beginners make with their arms at this step is spreading them out too wide. Keep them kind of close to your body. Keep your elbows bent. You don't want them straight out like this and really small movements with your hands, okay? Don't cover a lot of ground. Smaller movements with your hands are a little easier to maintain. The second part of treading water are your legs. Now your legs do an egg beater kick. An egg beater kick is like a breaststroke kick, but one leg at a time. You're redirecting water downwards with the inside of your shins and your calves and your ankles, okay? So watch my legs underwater and see how I trap the water with the inside of my legs and press it down to the bottom of the pool. I'm also, hinging on my hips and my knees. I'm pressing my knee down first, following with my ankle, creating a whip under the water. At this step, it's also important to keep your knees into your chest or kind of near your belly, thighs near your belly. If your legs are too far away from your body during this step, you might find yourself sinking because your body is vertical in the water. And when you're vertical, all your weight is going straight down. So if you're able to ball yourself up a little bit, it'll allow more of your weight to concentrate in your core and not be spread out so much throughout the rest of your body, sinking you. So keep your knees close to your chest or close to your belly. Keep your hands also close to your body. And then the last tip I have for you with treading water is to slightly lean forward. Get your hips behind you a little bit and lean forward. It makes it a lot easier. If you're trying to stand straight up and down, already I've had to start kicking harder just since changing my position. This is harder for me to do. I will not last very long. If I'm slightly angled with my face forward and my hips back, it's a lot easier for me to tread water for a longer period of time because I have more surface area spread out in the water. So remember, when you're treading water, the three key elements are small hand movements, redirecting water downwards, legs close to your body as you kick the water with the inside of your shins and lean slightly forward and you'll be treading water. Thanks for watching this video. If you appreciate it, splash that like button, subscribe to the channel and follow us over on our other social media channels for more content throughout the week.